common reality in the countries where Finca works is that there is this hard-working population with agricultural knowledge that have land that is very fertile, but across the board, this huge agricultural potential is unrealized because few investors are willing to engage in a sector perceived as too risky. Since our partnership began in the year 2000, Food for Progress's more than $54 million in seed capital has been spread across 14 countries and is still in place, working and growing, funding loans for hundreds of thousands of clients in the agricultural community. Every single dollar of USDA funding translates into at least four additional dollars in private sector loans. If you talk about the specific numbers, Finca Malayo has been able to disburse loans to over 50,000 beneficiaries, close to $5 million. And when you look at the 230 village banking groups that have been served, there is a lot in terms of output, in terms of improvement of their livelihood that we can attribute purely to USDA, to Food for Progress uh, project. My name is Tesha, and this is my mom, Miga Masura. We sell farm produce, cooking oil, and everything from the farm. Because USDA has been helping Finca, so we have been able to take a big loan to take care of ourselves, to take care of our business. And Finca has really helped us because we also build a house at home because of Finca. Our father passed away a long time ago, so since then, Finca has been our father. Finca, Nindama Sumana Nenda Pindra Naso. Dagulangombe, Dalim Sakumunda, Dindishi Mangashi Munkogwe, Dinda Baka, Dindin Kuku, Dindin Kumba, Dom Sasanjuera, Kundimanga Yumba, Anna Sok School, Odinandi Rosanga, one bead, or the Finka Sling I see. When you look at the goals that Finka has in terms of reaching out more people in the villages, we discovered that there was quite a, a big chunk of people that we couldn't reach without additional funding. When you look at the source of funds that we're getting the money from the commercial banks, we couldn't do as much as we would have wanted. But with the coming in of USDA, we have been able to reach out to over 15,000 borrowers in the rural areas, and we've been able to recruit more staff to help us and support us on that. Ooh,